वेलकम टू एच टू के इन्फोसिस एच टू के इन्फोसिस इज अ ई वेरीफाइड बिजनेस बेस्ड इन अटलांटा जॉर्जिया यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स वी प्रोवाइड हंड्रेड परसेंट जॉब ओरियंटेड इंस्ट्रक्टर लेड फेस टू फेस थ्रू लाइव ऑनलाइन सॉफ्टवेयर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स इट ऑल्सो इंक्लूड्स एक्सेस टू क्लाउड टेस्ट लैब विद सॉफ्टवेयर टूल्स वी प्रोवाइड लाइव प्रोजेक्ट फॉर यू टू वर्क ऑन वी ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड असिस्टेंस विद मॉक इंटरव्यूज resume preparation and review and job placement assistance h2k infosys is trusted by so many students across the world h2k infosys provides world class services in it training with real time project work for corporates and individuals special it training for ms students in the united states software design development QA manual and automation performance testing and maintenance IT staff augmentation job placement assistance and tech support everyone and then let's check Hello. Now it's clear. Yeah. Now it's clear. It seems. Fine. Now it's clear. Now, right here, unmapped keys are nothing but right when you are working with the uh, web testing. What will happen? My field should allow only numeric numbers. We will say like this. And while doing my testing, what I will do? Right. I will enter my alphabet. I will enter my special characters like this. but when you come to that mobile application what will happen is when you want to allow only numeric your developers will design such a way that when you are selecting that field automatically only numeric keyboard will come when you are having your smartphones if you want to try to enter some value what will happen you will get one uh, keyboard the keyboard itself right numeric so you cannot enter any other uh, uh, character Other than your uh, indi- whatever that number said, that's why what we will do is we will check this unmapped keys testing also for your uh, mobile application. Now, and if you are working with your mobile application, every time what I will do is I will do this back operation. So, for example, if you are using your mobile application, you will have your uh, device back button. Or if you are working with the native application. developers will keep a back button for each and every page what you can do when you click on this back button yeah see say for example if my field is uh, allowing only numbers obviously other whatever that other things like alpha numeric uh, special characters everything is unmapped only right okay fine okay fine let me explain it the, 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 sorry yeah, yeah i am explaining i am explaining don't worry okay okay So whenever right, if you are if you are having any field, I will say that my field will allow numbers only. When you are saying that numbers only, what your developer will do? Developer will develop your application in such a way that once user is selected this field, automatically you will get a keyboard here in your mobile. This keyboard you will get only numbers only. So you cannot enter. values other than number right you got it fine code a keyboard keyboard has only hello right. see when i put my cursor here see say for example it is allowing only number so once user enters the value once user put the cursor here automatically what will happen if you are having your smartphone you can cross it automatically it will pop up keyboard there in this keyboard what your developer will do is developer will design that uh, i mean it's already built in 
there is no design and all. What you will do is, you will select only numeric keyboard. So what will happen is here you will have only numerics only. You cannot enter other than your numeric value. That means here I can have my numbers here. Like this. So if I'm selecting my field, automatically this keyboard should pop up. So what you can do, you can enter only value. You cannot enter other than values like you cannot enter your alpha numeric. You cannot enter your special character because every time it will pop up only this keyboard only. That's clear. Uh, but I have one question. Uh, yeah. Okay, me too. Okay. Uh, is this a, a virtual keyboard? I mean, this will uh, this keyboard will come over the actual keyboard that we are having on the phone. It's a, it's it's a, it's with the application. Yeah, but we will do right. The developer will do. What do you call designing the application? Uh, once the user is selected, automatically you will uh, do that connection to that particular keyboard. This is not uh, your uh, device keyboard. This is uh, right uh, application like uh, based on your application. So your okay. developer will give that uh, reference for this particular keyboard. Okay. Right. Okay. Just a question. Like, let's say if we have tested all the details. Uh, and all the scenarios on the um, application itself, like on our computer, do we need to retest all the scenarios on uh, mobile device as well? See, here everything we will do in uh, device only, mobile device only. Here, right, where, where is the portion of your web page? Right? I, I understand. But my, my question is, let's say there is a banking application which I'm working on, and we are testing it on uh, different uh, devices. Let's say first we have to make sure that it works on the PC, a laptop. And then at the same time, we are testing the same application should work on the mobile as well. So the functionality which we have already tested on the application on the laptop, are we supposed to test all the from scratch on the mobile? See, always it's preferable to test that uh, functionality from uh, scratch to end. However, right, if you're having some major functionality, say, for example, if you want to share some uh, links to the user, right, that kind of situation, you can skip it. But mm -hmm. always it's a good idea to test that uh, mobile from start to end because right, our target on the mobile device is only, right? Mm. But let's say if there are multiple kind of users, like some, some users are using it on mobile and some are using it on a computer. So right. in that case, um, isn't it going to be like very expensive to test on both all the time for every single scenario? Okay, you meant to say that the application is developed in both my native as well as uh, like uh, web, right? Uh-huh. Right, that means, right, such kind of situation, you have to make sure that both your uh, browser as well as your mo mm, mobile device are working correctly. You have to test in the both the places from start to end. Oh. So you are talking about like... Uh, Right, you are talking about mobile web plus native. Yeah. So then you have to test in the both the places. Okay. Okay. No. Thank you. Yeah. You are right, right. When you are working with the mobile application, every time what you can do is you can check that back button. Back button is nothing but when you click on this back button, then it will go to the previous page. This is also one test case. Oh, Prasad, I have one question here. Uh, regarding unmapped keys, you mean to say the unmapped keys should be present on the screen or uh, they should not be present? Like if I should not be, right? See, here, if you want to enter only numeric, here, right, you should sure, get only, only numeric. The numeric should be there on the keyboard. Right. Correct. Uh, because uh, it is written like unmapped keys should not work uh, on the screen in the application. I think it should be, yeah. unmapped keys should not be present. Did I write wrongly? Let me check. Uh, I, I don't know. Like I want See, to make here, sure. Is it unmapped keys are not working on any screen? What do you mean by that? If you see here, what is the unmapped keys for this? Alphabet. I mean alphabet. What I put here, you can cross it here. Not working. Correct only, right? That means that alphabet should not be available on the screen. Right? Yeah, I mean the unmapped keys should not be available. Okay. Right. Unmapped keys, right? Here, one negative is there, one negative is there. It will become uh, positive, right? Okay, fine. When you click on this uh, device back button, it should go to the previous page. Always we will check this.
Prasad, Mr. No. Prasad, one question, one question related to Annapti. Uh, yesterday you were talking about the quote, uh, quote, right? Quote, quote, assorti, like how the keys are placed. Um, right, right. Yeah, so uh, they are uh, that one and the unmapped key, they all come into a separate category of testing. Um, yeah, see, that other T keyboard is your mobile uh, keyboard. This is your application keyboard. Right, that is different and this is different. When you're talking about QWERTY and other T, that is nothing but it will come along with, along with your uh, mobile device. Okay. So that will be designed. Who will design that one? That will be designed. See, that's, by a, that's a hardware, right? That's nothing but right. Your other T keyboard, right? Keyboard is nothing but it's coming along with your mobile. That is nothing but your hardware. Okay. Device hardware, right? So this is right. Was, what we are doing. Whoever writes the application for the uh, um, whoever writes the application, they have to do the unmap too. Uh, yes, yes. That feature is developer has to do. Developer. Right. Okay. And the and now, the quality is done by the whoever or designs the mobile. Uh, that is device. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's the device. Device. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now application logo means right for each and every application, right for each and every application, right what will have we will have some logo. What you can do is you can cross check that that logos are coming properly and user can select it. Once user can select it, it will launch the application. And launch the application means right, that it is splash screen. You can see this splash screen right when you are selecting your mobile application. Right? When you install, say for example, SPK Infosys is installed. Once you install, you can see the icon logo. Right? Once you see that application logo, click on that application logo. When you click on that application logo, then it will open up a home page. Before opening the home page, you can see one uh, black screen. Again, this is not mandatory for each and every application. Right? Sometimes what will happen is you can also see one icon called loading. Right? You can see that loading icon. You can see the loading icon or you can see some uh, black screen that is called flash screen. And this screen should not wait more than uh, three seconds. Once you click on that application logo, then you can see that loading icon and immediately you can see your home page. And your home page is loading more than three seconds, then you can uh, raise a concern saying that it's loading more, more time and you can select that. Now, Prasad, what is application manager? Application manager is nothing but. <laughs> So here, right, one more thing is continuous keypad entry, keypad entry. What do you mean by that means, right? When I'm testing any application, right, every time, right, I will not uh, use my, like, application and all. So every time I will say that, say, for example, if you are having, uh, right, one form is there, you can enter all the values, and then finally you can click on submit button. Here what I will do, instead of submit button, what I will do is, in the keypad itself, right here, let me show you only. Right here, we will have go button here. Go button. That means, right, what I will do, I will enter my details here and so this is my, I can enter my username, password. And what I will do, I can click on submit button. However, instead of clicking on the submit button, what you can do is you can enter the values and click on go in your keypad entry. That's why I said here continuous keypad entry. That means right, what I will do, my I will use this application with my continuous keypad only. Like I will enter the values and click on go in my keypad only. I will go to that next page. Again, in the next page also, if I'm having any details, I will enter the details and uh, there also my keyboard will pop up. In the keyboard itself, I will do the operation. So what you can do is you can also cross check that, right? You can do your continuous keypad entry in the application.
again back is done right this is covered so all these kind of testings will be done as part of our uh, mobile application testing now now what i will do is i will start writing some test cases right so whenever right if you are writing the test cases you can see the template something like this see i took some template again the template may vary from uh, organization to organization so this is one template right i took one template like uh, to write my test cases again this template may vary from uh, organization to organization so i took my serial number test case id requirement id yeah so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers Also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class The demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us Call us at 770 777 This is a United States number If you're calling from the UK call us at 020 337 One seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.